Hi, welcome to Enjoy Learning Computer Science. In this video, we will be discussing multiple choice questions from functions in Python. This video is part 4 of CBSE Class 12 Computer Science with Python MC Quiz for Term 1. Let's enjoy. Question number 1. What will be the output of the following code? A set of statements are given. We have to find out the correct output from the given options. Look at the codings. Value is equal to 50 is the first statement which comes before the function definition. Hence, this value is a global variable. It can be used anywhere inside the program. Now, def display inside Again, a value is declared as global and the value is equal to 25. Now, this value is becoming global. Then a condition. If the condition is true, uh, one set of statement. If the condition is false, another statement has to be executed. Then outside the program, there is a print statement, display print. These are the main statements in the main program. So, function execution begins from the main program. So, print value. So, here we didn't call the function at all. When this value is asked to print, it will go to the global variable, the first statement. So, it will print 50, comma, end is equal to hashtag. So, it will print a hashtag also. Okay, this is the first statement. Now, display 20. Now, the function is called with the argument 20. Okay, so, n will take the value 20, the the value of n is 20 and global value now what is the variable value it is equal to 25 now okay now let's check the condition if n percentage 7 is equal to 0 okay so what is the value of n 20 20 percentage is modulus when you divide 20 by 7 what is the reminder modulus will give you the reminder right the reminder is 6 so it is not equal to 0 so when it is equal to 0 only the first statement will get executed so here the second statement that is value will become value minus n will get executed so now value is equal to what is the uh, value for value it is 25 minus n which is equal to 20 so 25 minus 20 which is equal to 5 okay so this is the first output. So, in, in, uh, now the value of the variable value is equal to 5. Then it comes out of the program print value. Now, which value will be printed? The value 5 only be printed because this value is also a global. We have given if the, if the keyword global is not given inside the function definition, then only 50 will be printed. Here it is declared as global. Hence, 5 will be printed. Let's see the output of the program. Save and execute. You can see the output as 50 hashtag 5 as the output so we have to be very careful while executing these type of programs uh, you should understand what is global variable what is local variable when a variable will become global so a variable can be declared as global by using the keyword global okay so the output is 50 hashtag 5 is the correct option question 2 what is the output of the following code snippet? A set of Python coding is given. We have to find out the correct output from the given options. Look at the program. A function called change val is defined with two parameters m, n and inside a for loop is given two if conditions are given. In the main program, a list L is declared 25, 8, 75, 12. And then the function call change val and the function call is with two parameters L4. When the function is called, the control goes to the function definition. Okay, now L and 4. So, the argument L will be assigned to the variable M. So, M is equal to what is L? List of 25, 8, 75, 12. And the next one is n. So, what is n? 
what is the second argument four so four will be assigned to the parameter n so n takes the value four now for i in range of n so i is equal to range of n range means range of n means it will take zero to n minus one value here range of four so zero to four minus one three so zero one two three i takes the value zero one two three now there are two if statements these two if statements has to be executed for every value of i 0 1 2 and 3 let's execute one by one when i is equal to 0 first initially i takes the value of 0 right when i is equal to 0 what is the condition first condition if m of i modulus phi equal to 0 so what is m of i i is equal to 0 means m of i will become m of 0 what is m of 0 the element with the index 0 so put the index for m 0 1 2 3 now what is the element with index 0 it is 25 so m of 0 is equal to 25 now let's check the condition if m of i modulus 5 m of 0 modulus 5 m of 0 is 25 25 modulus 5 is is it equal to 0 yes when you divide 25 by 5 the remainder is 0 when it is 0 what has to be done m of i is equal to m of i floor division 5 floor division will give you the integer part when you divide two numbers so here m of 0 is equal to m of 0 modulus 5 uh, I mean floor division 5 I have given i 0 instead of i so m of 0 is 25 25 by 5 is 5.0 here it is floor division so it will give you the answer is 5 so now your m of 0 value is 5 that means the element with index 0 is changing into 5 okay so next value i is equal to 1 when i is equal to 1 what happens we have to check the same condition so m of i what is m of i when i is equal to 1 that is m of 1 the element with index 1 which is equal to 8 check the same condition 8 modulus 5 8 modulus 5 when you divide 8 by 5 the remainder is not equal to 0 uh, so that statement will not execute it. next condition 8 modulus 3 that is also not equal to 0 so these two statements will not get executed so the, there is no change in m of 1 value it remains the same 8 next one is i is equal to 2 when i is equal to 2 m of i is equal to m of 2 the element with index 2 is 75 now we have to check the if condition m of 2 modulus 5 that is 75 modulus 5 when you divide 70 by 75 by 5 the remainder is equal to 0 so when it is equal to 0 we have to go for the next m of i is equal to that is m of 2 is equal to m of 2 floor division 5 that is 75 floor division 5 so when you divide 75 by 5 what will be the answer 1 5 is 5 remains so it is 15 okay it will not come in real because there is floor division now your m of i m of 2 is 15 now next condition when you check m of 2 is equal to m of 2 modulus uh, uh, 0 means 15 you have to give 15 divided by 3 is 0 so the value of m of 2 is changing now it is not the 75 because here it is we have calculated as 15 the last value only has to be used so 15 floor division 3 which is equal to 5 now your m of 2 value is 5 so the element with index 2 has changed into 5 first it has changed into 15 now it has changed into 5 okay now next value of i which is equal to 3 when i is equal to 3 m of i is equal to m of 3 is equal to the element with index 3 is 12 okay now we have to check the condition 12 modulus 5 when you divide 12 by 5 it is not equal to 0 so m of i floor division equal to 5 will not get executed again next condition 12 yeah it will not get executed 12 modulus 5 it is not equal to 0 so that statement will not execute and next one 12 modulus 3 when you divide 12 by 3 the remainder is equal to 0 so m of i will become m of i floor division 3 that is m of 3 is equal to m of 3 floor division 3 what is the value of m of 3 12 12 divided by 3 your answer is 4 so now your 
uh, m of 3 value has changed into 4 12 is removed and 4 is changed so this is the uh, uh, list now now for i in l print i okay we are going to print each element of the list so for i in l print i what is the first element of i will take the first element of the list which is 5 okay 5 and then hashtag then you can see 5 will be printed after that end separator is there so hashtag will be printed now the second value of i is 8 that is no change then the third value is changed into 5 hashtag and again 4 hashtag okay so this is the output for this program okay let's see let's execute and see save and f5 you can see 5 hashtag 8 hashtag 5 hashtag 4 hashtag so your output is 5 hashtag 8 hashtag 5 hashtag 4 hashtag will come at the end okay this is your answer so you have to work it out step by step so that you can avoid confusions so the correct option is b part 5 hashtag 8 hashtag 5 hashtag 4 hashtag each element ends with a hashtag because we have end is equal to hashtag in the print statement question number three what will be the output of the following code so another python code is given and four options are given from the given options you have to find out the correct output let's see the coding so initially x is equal to three that means this x is declared outside the function so it is a global variable obviously then a function my function is defined inside again x is declared as global so any change in x will be become the global variable now okay so uh, then comes the main program print x end my function and print again so execution begins from the main program in the main program first first statement second statement then the third statement one by one will get executed so first statement print x now what is the value of x it is 3 we didn't call the function so no need to go inside the function so it will print 3 space okay because the end is equal to empty space is given so a space will be left now the next one is function call when the function is called initially global x okay so value of x is 3 now x next statement is x is equal to x plus 2 so that is 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 so it is asking print 5 so it will print 5 along with the previous 3 and separate a space. So the cursor will not go to the next line when end is given. Okay. Now there is another print statement print x comma n. Now which x will be printed? The, the last value of x one will only will be printed because this x which is inside the function is also declared as global so that x only will be printed if x is not declared as global then only the value of x which is outside the program which is will be printed here inside the function also it is declared as global then 5 only will be printed let execute and see it is 3 5 5 okay so we have to be very careful with global variables you should understand the concept of global variable so first initially x is equal to 3 which is outside the program obviously without giving the keyword global it is a global variable now inside the program also the variable x is given as global and when x plus equal to 2 means x will become x plus 2 so what is the value of x the global first global variable will be taken which is 3 3 plus 2 now the value of x is 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 now this value is also global variable so now if we ask to use x we will not use the first value because the last value of x which is declared as global is 5 only now print x means it will print 5 only right now outside after the call function call another print statement here also x now which x will be printed this x or this x obviously this x because this is also declared as global so 5 only will be printed okay if this is not declared as global then only this will be printed okay so local variable and global variable the difference is study clearly then you will be able to work out these types of problems so the correct answer is 3 space 5 space 5 d option 
question number 4 choose the correct option with reference to the python code given below def fn of s so the name of the function is fn and one parameter is given yes colon and there is only one function uh, body of the function there is only one statement print yes okay now this is the main program because these statements are without indentation a is equal to 90 we are uh, declaring a variable call and its value is 90 then the function call the function is called should be called with the name of the function right so fn and a is the argument when the function is called this a will be assigned to this uh, value s okay now s will become a what is the value of a 90 right and inside print yes is given that means it will print a this is the pro this is the coding given now four options are given um understand clearly a is the formal argument is that correct is a a formal argument or actual argument now the variable which is given in the function definition is known as the formal argument okay the variable which is given in the function definition is the formal argument here a is not given in the function definition it is in the function call so a is not the formal argument second option a is s is the actual argument so s is in the function definition the variable which is in the function definition should be formal argument it is not the actual argument so this option is also wrong now fn of a is the function prototype fn of a is not the function prototype right so that is also not correct now which is the correct option the last one a is the actual argument because a the variable a is in the function call so a is the actual argument so the correct option is 4a is the actual argument so you have to understand the formal argument will appear in the function definition actual argument will appear in the function call question 5 identify the output of the following python statements okay import math a function is defined and there is a function call four options are given 5.0 25.0 error no output we have to find out the correct output okay look at the program import math because square root is used so we have to import the math module so def the name of the function is check and uh, within bracket a is given that is the parameter now a is equal to math.sqrt so function execution begins with the function call check 25 so 25 will be assigned to the parameter a so a takes the value 25 now a is equal to math dot sqrt of a so a is equal to math dot square root sqrt of a what is the value of a it is 25 what is square root of 25 which is equal to 5 now there is a return statement return a so this will return a value now after the return statement there is a print statement which will never execute it any statements which are given after the return statement inside a function definition will not get executed at all so here after the function is called it's returning even though there is returning there is no print statement at all right in after the function call there is no print statement hence it will not show you the error but no output will be there okay there is no output for this program so after the return statement if there is any statements given those statements will never executed at all so when you define a function if you want to get executed some statements don't give after the return statement any statements which are given after the return statement will not get executed hence uh, the output is no output okay here you will not get no output because see it even though it is returning the function call is not assigned to a variable if it is assigned to a variable and you are asking to print it, you can uh, see the output here just we are calling the function it is returning and the print statement is after the return statement which will never get executed hence the output for this answer is uh, for this question is no outputs hope you must have understood all the questions discussed Thank you for watching. Enjoy learning computer science. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you. Bye-bye.